Hi, I'm Charlie from Pro One Racing. Today we're going to discuss flow benches. The first thing we're going to do in this series is we're going to uh, baseline a cylinder head. We have an 010 Yamaha 450 head here, and then we also have a 010 Kawasaki fuel injected head that we'll be working with. Um, what we're going to explain first is the fixture. We make our own fixtures in house. What this fixture does is designed to open the valves up. We test at 50 thousandths increments, so we'll put this in here like this, and we'll open the valve, and we test at every 50 thousandths. What I wanted to show you here was the maximum lift on a most metric heads is about 400 thousandths, and I just wanted to show you how far the valves are opened in this area. But one of the most important things to look at is where the valve is at, you know, the nominal lift. And I, since it's a 400 lift, I'm going to back this off. It's around 200 thousandths. It's right in that area. So you've got to think about when you're working with one of these heads and porting and things like that, that the uh, valve seats and the valve area above and below the seat is where all the action is at. So, uh, You've got to put a lot of effort into designing valve seats that will flow optimum air. Over here, like I said, it's just a Kawasaki 450 head. Uh, we'll be uh, baselining both these uh, today. I'll be doing the Yamaha head first. Okay, we've got the head attached to the flow bench. We've got our fixture set where it's zeroed with both valves closed. One thing I want to let you note know here. This is a, a Superflow flow bench, and we use a Flowcom uh, for monitoring the uh, air flows. We use 25 inches of test pressure, which is computer controlled, so that it'll always set at 25 inches. And then we just push on the computer here, and it records the numbers that we're going to uh, of, of air flow at the different lifts from, from 50 thousandths to 100 thousandths, all the way up to 450 thousandths. I'm going to turn the machine on now, and we'll uh, get the test going. As you can see up here, let's see if we get the test pressure. same procedure all the way to the 450 thousandths lift. Okay, we've got our flow test done and then I put this into the computer and it's made us a graph so that you can see what we've got here is the blue is our intake and the green is our exhaust. As you can see we've got about 235 CFMs on the intake and about 165 on the exhaust. Okay, now We'll take a break for a second. I'm going to show you something that's kind of interesting here. Okay, what I wanted to show you here is this has on the graph here, we've got a Yamaha 010 base and I've got a Kawasaki 450 010 base. And I just thought it was kind of interesting just to show you guys out there how close manufacturers are to each other on airflow. I mean, it's almost a mirror image on the intake and it's almost a mirror mirror image on the exhaust. In our next uh, 
uh, video that we'll do. We'll put some seats in the head and we'll show you how just putting valve seats in a, in a cylinder head will affect airflow.